Hi, everybody. My name is Rich Gardner. I work at the tutoring center down here in San Diego. And I'm going to give you the $2 tour on all the online resources that we have for all Alliance students at all programs and all campuses, et cetera, et cetera. And, and basically, it, it breaks down into two major fields. One is writing. We have a, a ton of different writing support services I'm going to show you. And then part two is statistics. So we have, we have uh, just, you know, a plethora of everything that you will need to know. And I'm going to show you how to navigate it. And so, okay. So here's the first part. This is the SharePoint webpage inside our portal. This is the Alliant portal you're looking at. Now, how you guys would get there is we have, so, so the screen that I look at as, as a staff person, it's a little bit different than what you guys got. So the links are a bit different, but we did make a video for it. So what you have to do is you go to the Knowledge Hub page, and at, the, at one of the drop-downs at the top, you click on that. I think it's Student Services. You, you drop down that, and it'll have Academic Support and Tutoring Services. So that's us. Everything, that, everything I'm about to show you, can be accessed through this page, Academic Support and Tutoring Services. So um, I can feel my voice starting to go out already, so I apologize. Occasionally, I will have to do this. <coughs> me, 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 me. There it is. There's that beautiful voice. Okay. So here's the main page to the Tutoring Center. I tried to put everything on one page. It's really, really brief here, but I'm talking about our summer hours. And um, we will have a couple of tutors. Normally, normally the tutoring is very slow during the summer because you guys are out having fun and skiing and, you know, going camping and cool stuff. So, but <laughs> thank you, Becky. Thank you for the laugh. Okay. And then here's the basics. We, we do have a very cool online writing service called BrainFuse. Everybody that uses them really, really likes them. Okay. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. Now, here's the tutoring room. If you click on that, normally it'll take you to the tutoring room. And during the regular school year, there's always a couple of tutors hanging out there. Uh, but they're, they're student tutors. They're in the same programs that most of you guys are in. They're very, very great resources for any kind of information. And But they have, they have their own schedules. So, you know, they can spend a couple hours here, a couple hours there. But usually we have like almost a dozen of them part-time. And what I, what I really would suggest is you guys use one or two or three until you find one that you click with and then just use them during, during your entire stay at Alliant because they can help you with just about every, every kind of academic issue that you might have. Okay. So again, they're great resources. And if they're not there, go ahead and email me and I could, I could have them contact you to set up some kind of appointment. Okay. So the link here is it's only good for about 50 days at a time. So I, I will I'll change it. When I, when I have to change the Zoom links, I'll change it on the web page. And so real quick, are you guys all dissertation students? Any newbies here? Any new students? Anybody? All right. I'll, I'll stick to the dissertation side. And so again, here's here's all the uh directors of all the campus services if you got any kind of question about basically anything you go ahead and contact somebody here now for me here I'm, I'm strictly tutor guys but you know i know everybody so if you have any problems financial aid you know um veteran stuff just let me know and I'll, I'll hook you up with the right person now these are our this is the link to the moodles i'm going to show you that after i show you the sharepoint thing and this is how to log into them. And here's our writing stuff. So again, in brain views. So every, everything that's on this sidebar here will be in here somewhere. Most of it anyway. Okay, so let me start giving you the grand tour. So again, here's the homepage. You like my graphic, which just disappeared? Come here, you. There it is, right? You get the hawk. Higher achievement, wisdom, and knowledge, right? Uh -huh. uh, that's pretty cool. So again, you need a tutor. We, you know, if somebody, if, if we have a tutor that's not doing anything, just drop on in, right? It's just like the walk-in services pre-COVID. 
you know, you just walk in, we hook you up with the tutor. And so now we do the Zoom, just drop it on a Zoom and if a tutor is there. Normally, usually we have like twice as many writing tutors as we do at stats tutors. Stats tutors are kind of hard to find, but we do have a couple, right? And, and they're brilliant, right? They, they know this stuff backwards and forwards. They know it is almost as good as your teacher. So don't hesitate. And then, um, oh, you don't need to see that. <laughs> and tutoring rules. So if you are going to use a tutor, I please read the tutoring rules. The main thing is the tutors cannot work on your dissertations. Now, with that said, you can contact the tutor anytime you want and say, how do I cite this in APA, right? Can you give me, uh, you know, how would I write up an introduction? How would I, you know, how do I cite articles? Anything like that that has to go into your dissertation they can help you with. But too many times, and I hate to say this, too many times, people will just send their tutors their entire dissertation and say, you know what, could you look this over for us? And the answer is no, 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 we don't, we don't have time for that. Plus, that's not our job. That's your job, okay? And it's the same with statistics. We get a ton of dissertation statistics requests, and it's the same thing, right? They, they send us the data, and they say, could you tell me what to do here? No, 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 we don't do that. So, but with, with that part said, I personally work with about 50 dissertation students per semester just to make sure you guys are going the right way, right? In the right direction, you're using right tests. And, and, and we'll get there. I'm going to show you all the resources we have for dissertation statistics before we close down this thing today. <clears throat> Excuse me. But again, the main thing is, you know, you get a, you get a maximum of two hours a week. It, it could be more, you know, if the tutors aren't working, they'll they'll work with you more than two hours a week. It depends. This COVID thing has got to change the way the tutoring services work. And but we're still here. Okay. And no dissertations. It says it's about three or four times. And I guarantee you we we get requests every week for dissertation work. So again, just don't use the D word and, and the tutor will help you. All right. So let's jump to I'm gonna we're gonna jump back to statistics. Let's go to the online writing resources. Now, um, the librarian, Scott, a personal friend of mine, went out and got this very, very cool academic writer software program. And it's APA. And it does a great thing. It's got examples of everything, uh, like, like how to put your, your stats results in a table APA formatted how to cite APA formatted, everything APA. And it's a real easy to use, and it's on the library website. So I suggest you use that. And then for, for our tutor side, you know, I've been here about 20 years, so we got, a, we got this giant collection of materials made by the tutors. And it, it's, just, it's just an enormous resource. Everybody loves it. So we got APA formatting examples, APA do's and don'ts, um, journal article reporting standards. Now we have everything in a PDF form. We have everything in a PowerPoint, but what we really shine on is we got videos. We got about 350 videos that go over everything step-by-step. Step. We're a big believer that videos get watched a lot more than this stuff gets accessed and read, right? We're starting to think that print is dead. So we're moving to videos, and so so here's a video on how to academic or how to access the academic writer if you're interested. There's the direct link, and there's a video right there. I don't know what that's saying there and there. I'll fix that one, but okay. So that's that's the rain that, that's the main online writing resources, except for BrainFuse. So here we go to BrainFuse. BrainFuse is amazing. I you know we've been using it for a couple of years, and just recently. I looked at all the other stuff they have besides the writing tutor. So the main thing with BrainFuse is you can get a live tutor, real time, up to five pages at a time, and, and you log in and you send the tutor the paper. And, and these guys are teachers that, were, that are working part-time, like they're college teachers working part-time for this company. And, and it's like a chat room. Right. They'll say, oh, uh, you need to, you, you know, you got your tenses wrong here. Or, you know what, maybe we should help you come up with a better introduction. 
something like that. And it's all type, type, type. You you see the old chat rooms, that kind of thing. And and they're and they're just above and beyond board. They're just really, really fantastic. And that's that's the, that's your first option. Your second option, you could email them, upload your five page or less paper, and they will they will send it back to you within a twenty four hour turnaround. And they put their comments in the margins, right? They'll say they'll say something like. Um, you're not using. You're not using the right form of the plural. Hey Jesse, would you bring that? Are you want the water cable set up? But we will keep. We will keep working. Okay. So option one: work with a real tutor, real time. Option two: email them your your paper, and they email it back to you within 24 hours with the corrections, with their suggestions on the side. Now, very very important: they're not editors. Okay. We do not hire editing services, so they were the, we're here to help you, right? We're turning you guys into self-directed learners. So, again, don't ask them to edit because that, that's another bad word that we don't like around here. <clears throat> Any of you guys teachers out there? Huh? Uh -huh. Any teachers? Anybody in the education? Because BrainFuse has about three or four practice CBEST tests. That was one of the things I never realized, okay? So the CBEST test, you want to practice it? Go play with them on BrainFuse. And, and they do such a great job with the practice test. They explain the answers, right? And it's just, it's a, I can't say enough good things about these guys. But check out all the different things about BrainFuse. Because besides the writing, they have a skill surfer lab of, with all kinds of cool practice assignments, heavily vocabulary, right? Um, heavily structured of writing. And me being the math guy, most of that stuff is way over my head. But it's got all these super cool practice quizzes. They're all free, and they all have explanations connected to them. So please check it out. And again, there's the writing lab. Flashbulb is a very cool thing. We can make your own flashcards. But if you go up there, there's already like a thousand of them that somebody else made that you can use. Very cool, vocabulary based. And then the leap thing is, uh, it, it, it's it's like a course. So basically, this is for people like uh, like if anybody is like ESL or something, they they give you an um, an assessment test right off the bat. And then depending on what you missed. Then, then you hook up with a tutor, and the tutor will start teaching you the, the, the things that you missed. And they go over them, and they give you more resources. So, again, I, I cannot say enough good things about BrainFuse. It's really turned it out to be such a, such a great resource that it might put me out of a job. But I don't think they do advanced statistics, so there. Boom. Okay, so, again, check out BrainFuse, and it's free to Alliance students. All right, see best I practice. I had a quick test. question about BrainFuse, real me. quick. Yeah. Um, so you were saying that emailing them, it could be a five-page paper. If you email and it's not live, can it be longer than five pages, or is it a five-page max for everything? And we okay. So we we ran into problems with people emailing them their entire dissertation, right? So, you know, we, we get a call from our contact from the BrainFuse guy saying, oh, this lady, she sent us 180 pages. That's going to cost you guys about $2,000 to go over. And I have to put the kibosh on that. I say, no, we can't do that. So we had to put a limit on it. So if you have a page paper that's longer than five pages, what you can do is cut it into five-page chunks. And then try, I think you could do it, I think you get up to like three hours a week maximum with BrainFuse. The problem is, is we've, we've had certain students that they, they just really went crazy. They, they put in, you know, 160 pages within, within two or three months. And that, that's, that's consumed. That's eating up all the, the, the funding. And it, it's just, you know, we're trying to spread it out for everybody. So did that answer your question? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and Darcy, the other thing that we've, we've found is that if people are making, um, as, as Rich was saying, you know, errors based on tense or dangling participles, 
you're probably going to, people are typically making the same type of errors consistent through their paper. So what the tutor is able to identify in the first five pages or, or as Rich said, you know, submit, you know, two or three, you know, 15 pages of your, of your 30 page paper, the, those errors that they'll identify are probably consistent. So it, it again, gives you guidance for what you would then want to go back and, and look for and hone in on to correct. Thank you, Amber. All right, here we go. Boom. Now we're getting into the statistics side of it. That's that's basically what I do here. I'm the stats guy. Um, I go by many names. Some of them are very nice, but I like I like uh, I'm the stats mechanic, right? I've been doing it for about 20 years, so I don't have a degree in statistics, but I know it backwards and forwards, and I've worked on over a thousand dissertations and. So, yeah, I know statistics pretty dang good. And I know SPSS really well, too. So, first of all, you get a free SPSS from Alliant. Free, free, free. Great tool. Love it, love it, love it. So, if you want a free version for SPSS, there's a link on how to do it here. And Qualtrics. You get a free account from Qualtrics. I love Qualtrics. Qualtrics does everything for you survey-wise. So, when you're ready to make a survey... Use the Qualtrics that Alliant will get for you. It's a great program. I even have a couple of videos on what to do. Um, by the way, they change their, their they change their look. So the videos that I made, I have to remake because the buttons are all moved. So I'll probably get to that if I get time this summer. I'll, I'll fix the Qualtrics videos. But but use Qualtrics. It's free. Okay. Do not use the free trial Qualtrics. Say that again. Do not use the free trial Qualtrics. It's it, it's misleading because if you use the free one, you can't download your data. And then we have to contact our IT guy, and it takes them about two weeks before they can transfer your account over to the Alliant, and you don't want to wait two weeks, okay? So do not get the free one. Use the, use the Alliant one, and there's a video on how to do it down here. And you get free Microsoft Word. You get Microsoft Office. So basically, Alliant, through the IT department, gets every software program that you're going to need here for free. And not, not on this website. Now they're talking about getting, for, for people that are going to do their qualitative dis dissertations instead of quantitative, they're going to get the NVivo software program, which I know nothing about. But apparently, NVivo really, really helps people that, with the qualitative dissertations. Okay, But here's Microsoft Word. PowerPoint, you get a OneDrive that holds like what, 20 gigs or something. Um, just just a ton of everything here. Back, practically every Microsoft Office option is is available through the Alliant website. And this is instructions on how to do it. Zoom, we we recommend that you get an Alliant Zoom account. Uh, most people just click on a link and they go to a Zoom thing and it's got their names. But if you go through Alliant, you get to put your title up there, you know, which program you're in, and it allows the Alliant people to contact you faster and easier. So, you know, but, but you know, like me, I got two, I got two Zoom accounts. I probably got like three or four. And, okay, that's the main stuff. Now, so this is what I've been migrating, okay? Statistics. I'm, we're, I'm going to break it down into two approaches. Statistics, one through, one approach will be through uh, critical vocabulary in alphabetical order. So that's what I was working on today. I just got these pictures with the links in there. So the pages, you click on the page. And first bit, so anything that starts with an A. And when I get the videos and everything back on here, I'll, be, I'll put the links to the videos. There's already a left ton of videos here. But again, we got about almost 400 videos on stats now. Some of your teachers will teach it by hand. Some will teach it with Excel, but most will use SPSS. But we got all three ways covered because I've been here forever. And so that's that part. And then part B is we will, I'll have all the processes. So what I do is I try to put the statistics analysis, the analyses and processes in the same order as the curriculum is taught in class. 
So hopefully you can follow along with what's here and it should, it should parallel with what you're being taught in class. So again, that should all be ready by the time the, the new semester starts. And then here's the dissertation toolbox. And it's got everything that we've ever made for dissertation people in here. Now, one of the one of the programs here, I believe it's the management, uh, the School of uh, Management and Leadership. They they want you guys to get together. So every sat the first Saturday of every month, they have a Zoom thing where you guys can discuss your ideas and you know if you need help, you could you could you could you know work with other dissertation students. I always I thought that was pretty cool. And again, there's the academic writer. We have something about qualitative methodology. And again, we have we had a couple of teachers put together some outstanding uh, presentations every step of the way. I suggest you you watch these things. We got a couple of little things on qualitative. And again, we got the Qualtrics thing here. It just links it back to where it was before we already went over that. Okay. I have a quick question if that's okay to ask. Yeah. It's Daniel. Sorry. Um, yeah. As far as the first, like this is all, all this information, which is super helpful. This is in our student portal, right? Did I hear that earlier correctly? Or it's the okay. student portal where all this is at? Yeah, this, yeah, this will be on your student portal. Oh, it's not there currently or it will be at some point? The, the dissertation toolbox is, yes. Oh, okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, now you tell me if you can't find it because that's that's been a kind of contentious point between me and the IT guys because I was told that we would have front page, a link on the very front page. Right. But Yeah, Rich, we're not there yet. So remember, and, and, and Daniel, the student hub, think of it as, as the student portal is your main house and the student uh -huh. hub is kind of the uh, the guest uh, accessory dwelling unit. When you're in your student portal page, you know, you can look up your grades, you can look at right. you know, your financial aid, and you go down to student resources and, you, and you, you click on that link, it'll it'll say student hub. And Rich, real quick, click on um, there on the, the top nav bar, click on student hub. Yeah, there you go. Up, 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 up. Yeah, there you go. So, th so that takes you here you know, out of, we've, we've gone from the main house out to our accessory dwelling unit. And then once we're out here in our backyard, we go up to student affairs okay. and then click on academic support, tutoring services. And now we're in Rich's wonderful, wonderful condo. Oh, I just found it. Thank you so much for walking me through that. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Now, did they fix that? It never did that well, for me. Our, so, so, so Rich, we have, we have our, um, our, our student portal user experience committee is, is is starting up, and that is one of the first things that we will be looking at is real estate for the front page of the student hub, and I, I promise we'll have a button for academic support. Yeah. Now, okay, so, you know, I, the IT guys, they're all my buddies. I've known it forever, so, yeah, I like to give them a hard time every once in a while. Keep them under toes. Okay, back to this guy. Boom. Dissertation. And again, okay, so we got a ton of stuff. If you're doing a dissertation, Please, you know, we, we got, we, we, we have an IRB video. It was made by the lady that runs IRB. You want something complicated, you know, this is way over stats head, but the IRB is, whoa, it's crazy hard. Watch the video. And um, what else we got here? We got. Uh, da, 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 da. Rich, where's, where's the section on kind of the life cycle of the dissertation? Is that under demystifying dissertations? I think that's a really good one. Yeah, I think so. Hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah, make a realistic plan. In fact, we got some cool... Um, we, we even have a, 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 a list of benchmarks and milestones in there somewhere. But it's, it's, a, it's a spreadsheet, right? And it, it has every step that you need to do to write a dissertation, right? Every step, you know, blah, blah, blah. You got to do this. You got to do that, blah, blah, blah. And then you simply... Look it over, and then you put in anything that you think might be extra, and make a date, you know, and who you're going to talk to, et cetera, et cetera, to plan ahead on yourself here. So, oh, there it is right there. Let's see if I can get it going here. Do, 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 do. That's different. That's a video. Where's the actual thing? Okay, well, there's there's a video on it. Started. I want to thank everybody for showing up for today. You know, I hate that guy's voice. It just drives me crazy. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. 
Uh, okay, there's a, okay, forget, forget, okay, just check it out on your own, you guys. We're kind of running out of time. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Moodles. Those are going away, but everything will be transferred into this. Okay, so for you newbies, where are you? Hold on, let me move that thing out of the way here. Um, Statistics, statistics, statistics. So basic statistics, Hawk 1, right? Z-scores, bar graphs, everything and anything that you need to know. It's basically an, under, it's an undergraduate statistics course. So anything and everything you need to know on basic statistics, it goes all the way up to T-test, sample proportions, nobody uses anymore, chi-squared test, but it shows you how to do it by hand in Excel and SPSS, how to write it up in, in APA formatting, et cetera, et cetera. So that's beginning statistics. Now, if you're enrolled in any course except for, uh, I think it's the MFT master's program, they're the only graduate program that doesn't take statistics. So if you're in the MFT master's program, Good move. You don't have to take statistics. But if you're in any other program, you're going to take statistics. <coughs> and now te different teachers, there's, there's like 18 different stats teachers. And, and of course, everybody's got to teach it a little bit different. But this one, this is the Hawk 2. This is normally where you start at the advanced level, right? You go over the basics, which is T-tests, you know, Z-score, normality, and that kind of stuff. And then you jump right into the ANOVAs. And you know, within group designs, mixed ANOVAs, everything, everything that you will ever need in a class is in the ear. This is, so this is based on Dr. Gebertz down here in San Diego, who has been my mentor for like 15 years. Great guy, knows everything. You know, he's been published about a million times and his statistics skills are through the roof. So this is all based on what he taught me. And there's, there's practice, right? I give you guys guided homework. And then I give you answers, right, with the answer videos. Let's look at the videos. And it shows you how to do each and every problem in SPSS. So do not fear T-tests, ANOVAs, regressions, correlations. Don't fear those anymore, okay, because we got videos on how to do them step by step in the Hawk 2. Now, the Hawk 3, where's Hawk 3? Hawk 3 is your second semester. This is when it gets really hard, right? This is the regression chunk right so you start off with correlations you jump into regressions and then it just gets worse from there you go into moderators mediators you go into um exploratory factor analysis logistic regression and i'll, I'll be honest with you these these ones down here at the bottom they're freaking hard so don't knock yourself out but again there's i got like five or six videos that show you how to do everything right every not just one video there's several different types of videos and everything that you should know when you run these kind of tests, right? Everything that you're going to be tested on, all the assumptions, et cetera, et cetera. So it goes on and on. And this was the hardest one I ever did in my life. And that was structural equational modeling. And I kind of suggest don't do it because nobody's going to understand except for you. And there's probably maybe five teachers that I know of that could probably understand that. But that, that's about it. So now all of this stuff will be on the SharePoint when school starts. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm I'm migrating this stuff back and forth. And some of this stuff I made a long time ago. And I'm, I'm a much better statistician now, so I'm kind of kind of punching it up. And I'm I'm kind of dropping the by hand stuff because those teachers, God bless them, they've retired. But we used to have teachers here that would teach statistics using calculus. And I tried to convince them that, you know, it's a new age. Let's use SPSS. So now mostly, almost everybody uses SPSS. SPSS. So that's what I'm going to, I'm going to format everything, make sure there is at least one SPSS for every concept. So, and we got a lot of methodology comp exams. So if you guys are going to be taking comp exams, if you're into PhD or, I think the CIDES guys take them too. We we have a ton of online practice exams. 
with the with the answers explained videos we have tutors giving um like how to write a decent introduction for your dissertation how to write up a literature review for your dissertation how to write up methodologies for your dissertation yeah, all that stuff all that stuff we got again there's just too much to talk about here in in a half an hour all right well i want to thank you all and again if you need something, email me again. My name is Richard Gardner. I'm all over the web page there on the, on the academic support. Just email me, and I can, I can point you in the right direction, help you myself, hook you up with a tutor.